John Workington from Michael's Camera. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Blackmagic Microconverter HDMI to SDI. Now the obvious question you might ask is, what's this thing for? We use them here at Michael's Camera because we're running the Blackmagic Design ATEM television studios. And they have four HDMI inputs and four SDI inputs. And we've learned the hard way, which is why now we're sharing this data with you, that SDI cables are way better for transmitting video, even 20, 30 feet. HDMI cables are a nightmare. So what we personally do, or shall we say professionally, we run short HDMI cables, much like this one right here, from our cameras to these micro converters, which we uh, bungee cord to the legs of our tripods. You might want to actually uh, take a look at the leg of that tripod over here, Hashem. You can see that there's a micro converter bungee corded to the leg of it. And the power supply for the tripod or for the camera is there as well. Then on the floor, we have the little power supply for the micro converter. And then we come out of that to an HDMI or an SDI cable back to our production unit. So we really like these because HDMI cables are finicky. We don't like to run long ones if we can avoid it. As a matter of fact, HDMI cables can't even be run that long. About 20, 30 meters with a powered HDMI is about all you're going to get. These SDI cables, 100 meters, not a problem. So they're your friend. They have tough as nails BNC connectors on them. They're simple two conductor RG59 style coax. It's very affordable and these have strain relief. They don't inadvertently come unplugged if somebody yanks on it. They're tough as nails on a well-established type of, type of connector. So we like to use these HDMI to SDI converters because our cameras inherently have HDMI connectors on them. So there you go, long and drawn out story. What do you say we open the box? One knife. This one's shrink wrapped. I've opened quite a few of these boxes before, but this is a fresh one off the shelf. And it's quite interesting, considering it's just a cheap little device here. They're only about $135 Australian. But I like the way they're boxed, and I wanted to share it with you. So let's get the plastic off here. How much fun is it watching a guy struggle with plastic on a YouTube video? There we go. Plastic off. Toss that aside. And let's open it. So. Opens kind of like an accordion. I like that. I always like Blackmagic's boxes. They've got good artwork. They're shiny, shiny black on them. They've always got a little bit of information about everything you need to know. And um, I think they just do a gangbusters job for very affordable video production uh, tools. So inside we have a little cardboard slide out. There we go. So we've got our little card here with a graphic of a guy doing something. Something video operating, you know, something like that. And the back, thank you for selecting Black Magic Design for your work. I've selected it. I highly recommend it. I think you should select it too. So let's put that down and let's open this up. So it kind of, it's sort of basic, you know, uh, brown cardboard. We open it up like so. And there's our power supply, which is going to have a choice of power input snap in things. Okay. So, and this is micro USB. So that's how we power the mini converter. You can also power them from direct current if you've got little um, anything that, that feeds standard USB output. So lots of those V-Lock batteries and whatever that you're using on your cameras have uh, five volt uh, tap offs as USB format. So a lot of ways to power these things or even just one of those USB charging things you use for your phone. A lot of people have extra batteries. They don't need much power these things, but they are powered. So we've got that. Open this up, and here we are, are all the various adapters for various countries you might use your microconverter in. So we've got four of them here, and they're all kind of plugged into the cardboard here. I thought that was quite nice. That little uh, angly one is the Australian one, but you've also got uh, the European roundy prongy guys. You've got the huge one, you can power a lawn tractor on, uh, British style. And of course, near and dear to my heart, because I'm from Canada, you've got the North American style. So these just snap on and they can snap off as well. Once you put them on, you can take them off. They're not that one shot style that I've seen from a few camera companies. It drives me batty. So let's plug in the Australian one. It clicks into place. We're good to go. Now, other side of the box. Should have done that first. The micro converter. This thing's built like a tank. It is tough as nails. Real simple. On this side, we have HDMI input plus the power, which is that uh, micro USB. And on this side, we have two BNC connectors for the SDI output. Why do we have two? Well, we might want to take the HDMI signal from our camera 
go to our live production studio. At the same time, we might want to run a Blackmagic uh, uh, monitor, you know, at the camera, one of those large ones. What do they call it? Video assist. So we can drive one of those monitors, or we might want to run a local um, SSD recorder at the camera and run a feed out to your production switcher. So it's nice to have these two outputs because there's not too many video cameras that have multiple outputs. So that's very handy. So what do you say we power this thing up and I'll show you exactly how it runs. It's not that hard, but let's do it in this video. So I'll put that on the ground. I'll put this over here on the ground. So let's get ourselves an HDMI signal. Well, I've got one here, an iPhone. Very handy. I've got the Apple iPhone Lightning to HDMI output. So I can plug that in. I've got an HDMI cable, a short one. I have a SDI cable here coming into, believe it or not, we've got another Blackmagic design. We just opened the box on this. This is the Terranex AV standards converter. So let's just not worry about that too much. Just think of this as an SDI input over to the live broadcast. We are going to be using it to convert the frame rate because iPhones run basically 60 frames per second and our broadcast that we're currently recording right now is running 25 frames per second. So we will be using this to do the conversion side of it. So let's plug this in, get ourselves some HDMI out of the phone, turn that around. Okay, let's plug that in over here. Let's get some power. So I'll just undo this. Okay, twist tie off. Let's plug, oh, let's just make sure we don't get it all tangled up here. There we go. So plug in the micro connector in here. It's uh, thin side down. There we go, that's plugged in. Let's plug that over to my power supply over here. And we have, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little white LED light that's now shining here. We have power, so that's good news. That's all we want to see. Let's plug in our SDI over here into the open. Let's move some of these things out of the way. Get our knife out of the way. So we're going to plug into one of the SDI outputs here. Okay, twist the BNC. I'm just going to move this around here so I can see what happens. Now I'm going to turn on my iPhone. And let's get a signal here and get that to rotate its screen thing. How come it's not? There we are. It's rotated its screen. Well, iPhones are weird because they keep changing their orientation. And we need to get a signal into the Terranex. Let's see here. So we'll go over to input. Oh, there we go. We've got a signal. Okay. So the Terranex is feeding our signal in. So we've converted HDMI into SDI. We've plugged SDI into the Terranex. The Terranex is doing a real-time conversion. I'll go to the input channel here. Uh, input, input, input. Sorry, where's input? Uh, Turn my glasses on. It's kind of hard to see here. Input, there we go. So the input on the Terranex, I don't know if you can see this on, if you zoom right in here, it's telling me that the iPhone is running 1080p 59.94 frame per second. And I've already set this thing up to do the conversion earlier. So on my output, it is running 1080p, 25 frames per second. And if I can get a confirmation from uh, my producer, thumbs up, he is getting the live signal. So you're seeing the home page of my iPhone. There's nothing to see there other than the icons and the fact I updated my software the other day and I haven't run a few apps. But we have achieved that. So that means we could use an extremely long SDI cable on the other end of the microconverter and um, I'll have to check it, but if I'm not mistaken, I think the limitation on your SDI cables is something like maybe two or 300 meters. Certainly uh, our cable, what's our longest cable? 50 meters or something? I'm not sure, we are 75. Anyway, we've got some long cables here. There's no problem with running long ones. I'll confirm the maximum length and put that into the YouTube comments. But compared to HDMI, and with the cost of HDMI cables, the thickness of them, you just can't beat these SDIs. A long HDMI cable that's powered, that's an inconvenient cable to use, is more than the price of one of these microconverters. So you can't beat the Blackmagic microconverters. And they make them in two flavors. You can go from HDMI to SDI, like this one, and they also make 
SDI to HDMI if you ever require that. So it's, they're a great little device to have in your kit bag if you've got to convert from various cable formats with your devices. And you can't beat the Teradex AV for doing frame rate conversions on the fly. Check out our other video where we just opened the box, but working like a charm. Anyway, thanks a lot for joining us here. Um, feel free to put any comments into the YouTube video if there's anything else you'd like to see me open the box on and demonstrate in real time. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube and uh, just keep looking forward to new and exciting things from us at Michael's Camera. Take care and we'll see you next time.